You know what this is? This is a case study in capitalist irrationality. What are you doing producing a vast amount of oil like this? If you have the oil, the logic would be, well, let's figure out a way to gather the different producers so we can up the quantity, but in a measured way that doesn't, doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. If you didn't do it in, in a big rush, you wouldn't have had to borrow all that money from the banks, which you now can't pay back, threatening their finance. This is not a capitalist system that's efficient. This is a capitalist system that's a joke. The worst part of the joke is the number of people who think that the words capitalism and efficiency have anything to do with each other. It's never been true. It's just a hype. To believe that is to believe the advertisement that tells you if you use this kind of soap, your sex life will improve overnight. <laughs> you giggle. You're right to giggle. But when someone says capitalist efficiency, the same giggle should come right out of you without a second thought. You've got to be kidding. Destroying, the, 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 destroying the, the, the children's health in Flint, Michigan? This is efficient? They're going to have health bills from here to tomorrow. The destruction of these families? How can you even calculate it? Efficient? Loading up a generation of students with debt they can't handle? This is efficient? Come on. And the oil, the cheap oil, which is now, of course, going to do what? Who needs to have environmental, who needs to economize on oil? I mean, uh, GM is celebrating. It's selling more cars. It eat up more oil. Of course, it's oil is cheap. Uh, you, you don't know where to stop. This is a system that can't solve its problems. It cannot solve its problems. That's a sign that the system is in trouble. And not only that, it's one thing that it can't solve its problems. But then there come along people like me who make a big deal out of that fact and discover that they can talk all over the place. That's a sign of something, too. <laughs> That's very interesting. Because a bunch of what I said was true 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Come on. It's easy now. You know why it's easy now to say these things? Because you've all changed your way of thinking. All of you have. You may not be aware of it, but you all have. So when I speak now, people nod. They used to frown. You nod in agreement. That's great. Makes me feel good. I didn't feel so good when I would say it in the past and people looked at me as if I was trying to sell them a bad tomato. <laughs> you know, that's not not the way it was. Okay, let me come to the end, the third topic. Oh, a footnote about the oil. 